Welcome back to The Rich Life, my name is Aaron, and before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe for your daily dose of your favorite celebrity content. Now let's get to it. Today we're going to be talking about the rich life of Tanner Buchanan. He's an American film and television actor. As of 2020, Tanner Buchanan's net worth is $1 million. He accumulated his net worth through his acting career. He's known for portraying the famous role of Leo Kirkman in the popular political drama series titled Designated Survivor. He's also known for portraying the famous role of Robbie Keane in the popular Netflix series titled Cobra Kai. Along with these, he has worked in several popular television series and movies in the American entertainment industry. Born on December 8, 1998, Tanner Buchanan's age is 23 years old as of 2022. He was born and raised in a well-settled Christian family in Lima, Ohio, United States. He's an American by nationality and he follows the Christianity religion. He completed his early schooling at a local high school in Lima, Ohio. After that, he enrolled himself at a local private university in Ohio. Since childhood, he was interested in acting and has always wanted to be a popular actor in the American film and television industry. Tanner's father's name is Mr. Steve Buchanan, who is a businessman by profession, and his mother's name is Miss Marilona Buchanan, who is a housewife. Now, fans may be wondering whether Addison Rae and Tanner Buchanan, the stars of He's All That, the remake of the 1991 film She's All That, are dating in real life. Especially after the pair shared a kiss at the 2021 MTV Movie and TV Awards while presenting the award for the best kiss. The latest film is a gender flip version of the 1991 film in which Zach Siller, played by Freddie Prinze Jr., is given a dare to make Lainey Boggs, played by Rachel Lee Cook, a slightly awkward art student, prom queen. Have you yourself ever been subject to a makeover? Probably when I was younger. I'm sure there's some pictures out there of me and a blonde wig and makeup done and, and dresses. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar shared the magazine's YouTube channel on August 27, where Buchanan spoke about his on-screen chemistry. Noting the pair got to speak with each other briefly the night before they did a chemistry read for the film, Buchanan said, We instantly kind of connected, even when we first met, and we really tried to get to know each other so fast. Other than that, the chemistry would be there, he said. The co-stars are not dating in real life, but Buchanan spoke about his actual girlfriend, whose name is Lizzie Broadway, who's also an actor, in an episode of Anna Faris's Unqualified Podcast. During the episode, Tanner was joined by Broadway, and they spoke about their relationship, including how they met Met, their life during the pandemic, and their breakup in their teen years. The couple knew each other when they were nine years old and met through a mutual friend. Broadway said, recalling, he looked 10 years younger than me when we were the same age. Broadway recalled later seeing Buchanan in class and thinking, wow, you grew up, you're looking fine. Before Broadway joined the podcast describing his worst heartbreak, Tanner said that he cried every night for a month straight following a breakup when he was around 17 or 18 years old. And I didn't mean cry. I like bawled until I tired myself out and made myself go to sleep and just had a bunch of breakdowns, he said. Asked whether he'd asked for this person to come back into his life, Tanner told Ferris, oh, absolutely. Later noting, we're together now. She's upstairs currently, her name is Lizzie Broadway. Noting Broadway had broken up with him at the time, Buchanan said, I will admit it was my fault. That was definitely a reality check for me. I felt I truly lost everything. And I didn't ever want to act that way or be that person again. It was a very big learning experience, he said. Asked about how Tanner won her back, Broadway recalled, Tanner gave her an ultimatum and she was too afraid to lose him at the time. Tanner was like, I can't talk to you anymore if we don't get back together, Broadway recalled, noting that they'd be together for six years at the time. Admitting she was an ass too at the time, she said, being so young, you don't know anything, you just instinctively know that I can't lose this person. Asked how quarantining had been for the couple and whether they'd grown closer over the last year of the pandemic, Buchanan told Ferris, yeah, we learned a lot about ourselves and each other. Tanner then said that they spent a lot of time talking about their relationship and what we could do better during the quarantine period. I was really sick. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was having all these stomach issues. And this guy took care of me on my deathbed, it felt like, she told Ferris. Asked what advice he'd give to other couples. Tanner said, communication. That's a big thing for me. I've gotten a lot better at it. I still need to work at it for sure. But communication for me was a big game changer. Now, Tanner started his career as a television actor with the appearance in the television series, Modern Family in the year of 2010, in which he played a child role. Since then, he's worked in several popular television shows like Grey's Anatomy, Ghost Girls, Growing Up Fisher, The Goldbergs, Designated Survivor, Cobra Kai, and a few others. He's also played small reoccurring roles in the popular television series like Girl Meets World, Game Shakers, and The Fosters. He's currently though in Cobra Kai, which is on its fifth season. Less than a year after the season four premiered of Cobra Kai, season five will be dropping September 9th. The show's fandom has continued to grow since its 2018 debut on YouTube Red. Since Netflix picked up the show, Cobra Kai's grip on its fan has gotten even stronger. Cobra Kai just keeps getting better too. Season four had the highest Rotten Tomatoes audience score of any season this far, and had 120 million hours viewed in the first three days of its release. Needless to say, the expectations for season 5 are very high. Cobra Kai season 5 will be released globally on September 9th only on Netflix. The first teaser and the release date were revealed during Cobra Kai's live at the Netflix is a Joke Festival in May 2022. The new season will consist of 10 episodes and be available all at once. Uh, season 1 I was like, oh I can do this, I'm good at this, and then I, like, I'll go back and watch season 1 now and I'll go, oh my god, I was terrible. <laughs> Uh, so I think I'm a lot, lot better than what I was in season one compared to now, but I still obviously have 
a lot more to learn, so. Season five was confirmed back in August 2021, months ahead of the season four premiere. Production got underway for season five in September 2021 and took place in Atlanta. Filming officially wrapped just a few months later in December 2021. Cobra Kai's co-creator, John Hurwitz, confirmed that season five finished filming via Twitter. Recently though, he shared a photo of him and his new castmates for a film that he's gonna be in. Tanner Buchanan, Claritha Chandran, and Sebastian Croft will be starring in an upcoming romantic comedy film on Prime Video. The trio have been cast in the British high school rom-com How to Date Billy Walsh, which is currently filming with director Alex Sanjeev Pillali. Here's a synopsis. Teenagers Amelia and Archie have been best friends since childhood. Archie's always been there to fight Amelia's battles, laugh at her jokes, while consistently striving for her love and affection. Archie's been in love with his best friend for as long as he can remember. Just when he builds up the courage to declare his feelings, Amelia falls head over heels for Billy Walsh, the new American transfer student. Heartbroken Archie goes to great lengths to try and keep Amelia and Billy away from each other, but ends up pushing them closer together and risks losing his best friend at the same time. Also in the film is Kunal Nayar, Nick Frost, Gus Khan, Lucy Punch, and newcomer Daisy Jelly. We are to be working alongside Future Artist Entertainment on the third British film produced by Prime Video. Tashar Janal, head of film accusations Prime Video UK shared, How to Date Billy Walsh features an incredibly exciting, young, diverse cast that have already made a mark internationally. The film will join Prime Video's ever-growing library of British series and movies, including what's set to be a firm favorite of the festive season. We can't wait for our brilliant Prime audience to see these brilliant homemade films. How to Date Billy Walsh is such an exciting film to be making with Prime Video, producer and CEO of Future Artistic Entertainment, Matt Williams said. This is an opportunity to create a new installment in the high school rom-com genre, but completely refresh it with a unique British sense of humor, and it's elevated by the amazing team we've managed to gather both in front and behind the camera. How Did They Billy Walsh will stream exclusively on Prime Video in over 240 countries and territories. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this video, and do you think Addison and Tanner would have been a cute couple in real life? What's your favorite season of Cobra Kai? Did you enjoy He's All That? And are you looking forward to How to Date Billy Walsh? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Aaron, and I'll be seeing you soon. Uh did you just take a picture of your food? Are you gonna post that on your Instagram story? You are the worst person I've ever met, you bitch! You are worth nothing! You will never be loved!